more the people in school. Um, I kind of told like a good friend of mine who I, you know, confided in, and then she ended up telling you know a close friend that she confided in, and it just was like this domino effect. And then eventually, you know, it was like one of those things where it's like we were at the, like the low end of the totem pole. Like it ended up getting up to the top, like the popular kids and like the people who ended up making like the biggest deal about it. And it was just like, okay, really. <laughs> You know, but they didn't really make a big deal about it until homecoming. You know, I didn't get to go to prom my senior year, but I ended up going my freshman, my sophomore, and my junior year. So I think that made up for it. They just, you know, little whispers, little just like, just I just didn't want to hear it. So um, they were calling me the homecoming whore, the school slut, you know, certain things like that. And my mom, she was very supportive. She was, um, she. So I told her about the webcamming. I literally told her about like the day after I signed up and started doing it, you know, because I went out. Uh, I, I knew about it because of some friends, and um, I was kind of hesitant to, you know, sign up. You know, the whole ID thing and all that. And then I was like, okay, all right, fine. Signed up, and my friend logged in. He was like, oh my god, you're finally on! Yay! I was like, yeah, what's up? Like, what's going on? And he was like instructing me to do things and I was like okay like this is kind of weird but kind of like someone you know like like this like at a, you know telling me what to do but like not in a way that was like you know abruptive or whatever and I was like oh this is nice I like turning him on this is so ooh you know and I just like got so into it I didn't really understand the tokens you know because well who understands who understands that but um then I realized a certain way to, you know, figure it out, and I was like, oh, so a token is five cents. Okay. So then I was like, all right, you know, I ended up on, you know, on chat one day, and this guy just came up and, you know, just kind of like took me in a, into private chat and just talked to me for like hours, like hours. And then eventually he was like, here, here's my phone number. I want to talk to you about an opportunity in California and this and that. And I ended up calling him, talking to him for a while, you know, and then the next day was when I was like, okay, like, let's do it. I ended up telling my mom, I was like, that I was on webcam. I was like, mom, so I started doing this thing. Um, I sit in front of the computer and I make money masturbating. My mom wasn't like, you know, not aware of the fact that, you know, she knew I was very sexually active or knew that I played with toys. She, she used to work for a company and sell toys, I would go in there and sneak in, take the toys, and then put them back, and it was this whole ordeal. And um, so I ended up telling her about it, and she was like, okay, cool, you know, just don't do anything I wouldn't do. I'm like, okay, cool. The next day, I'm like, so mom, remember that site I told you about? She was like, yeah, what about it? I was like, well, this guy wants to fly me to Cali. You know, he's gonna pay for everything, and he estimated that I'd make like this much. I ended up making like, Double and but like I I don't the one thing I had to do was you know I you know my the one thing I, I don't like about this instance or it, you know but I never also really grew up with him is my my dad doesn't approve he disowned me but my one thing my one like I had to do this I had to go see him one last time because I knew he wouldn't approve I knew he wouldn't want. I knew that it wasn't going to be good, so I spent two weeks in Indiana, spent some time with my dad, and then I flew like straight to California. And the, the way he found out, um, I love my aunts, I love all my aunts, you know, but the one from um, Chicago who I used to, you know, go and see my dad on the way to, you know. She and I are very close. She wants. She's the one who taught me how to, you know, how to go get my nails done, be pampered, and and girly girl. And because I was actually a tomboy growing up, I know I mow lawns like acres, you know, with law, riding lawnmowers, and you know, play softball, ball, and stuff. Like you know, so she was the one who taught me manners and girly girl, and you know, all that. And out of all people, she was the one that told my dad. She was the one who told him. I'm doing porn, and and the way she found out was I posted, you know, I'd kind of like gotten in, you know, realization way back when, you know, social media, you know, 
do that and this and so I ended up linking my real Facebook to my fake Facebook to my or Instagram and then my real Instagram to my fake Facebook and it was just this like whole thing and I was just like oh my gosh it was up there I I, I knew I had posted it on accident from Instagram and I went to like take it off my my page but it wasn't taken off like the notifications or something so everyone could still see that I had posted this picture on Instagram of my tits and it was this like full-on picture I had tan lines you could see like my <laughs> everything and it was just like oh my gosh my aunt saw that she showed it to my dad or she at least told him I hope she didn't show him my goodness um, and I was just like I'm screwed so he ended up sending a message to my mom like how dare like basically blaming her that I'm a slut prostitute whore all this like calling me all, his own daughter like all these names and stuff and I'm just like I didn't even go off on him about that and about me. I was like, don't you dare go off on my mother. When I won my very first award at Night Moves for Best Female Performer, um, some people might even remember this um, if they have it on video or were there. I thanked my mom. I literally, yeah, I thanked her just for allowing me to be who, you know, she is and I am. Just like for her being herself and the way she was, you know, while I was growing up it allowed me to be who I am today, so it's been great.